Hi, I'm Meenakshi Sundaram and I will be a presenter for the day. And uh, before we begin, if you have any questions at any point of this session, feel free to post them using the chat option. I'll try to answer all of them during the Q&A session, which we'll be having at the end of this webinar. The slides will contain a lot of installation steps to help you get started with the extensions of Vault, like I'd said. So if you're interested to get hold of this presentation, drop us your email address using the chat option again. A copy of the deck along with the session's recording will be sent over to your mail. This is a dedicated session for password management with many tips on how you, uh, on, on how you can like secure your passwords and share them efficiently. The entire session would cover features that are common to both mail and desk users. So I recommend everyone to catch the entire session to make the most out of it. So let's get started. We'll start off today's webinar by talking about how passwords are managed by individuals and companies. We'll highlight the traditional unsecure methods that people still use to store and share their passwords. Then we'll talk about the consequences of poor password hygiene, why a lot of people are unaware of the damages it could cost them and their company's finances and reputation, which will then lead us to the segment where we talk about the right solution to safeguard your passwords and how Zoho Vault plays a major role in all of this. We then proceed with the step-by-step -step installation instructions to install the extensions of Vault for mail and desk. We'll also share with you a few useful links to educational material of Zoho Vault. This will definitely help you post the webinar. Finally, we'll open up for a Q&A session. Traditional methods of password management. I recently read an article from Digital Guardian that said that the average email address in the US is associated with at least 130 online accounts. This is a staggering number to even process, right? But this is the reality we are living in. It's pretty tough to keep track of all the accounts, let alone remember their passwords. This often pushes the users to reuse passwords across all their accounts. And researchers at Virginia University analyzed data of 28 million people and found that almost 52% of them reuse their passwords. There are a few people who still create complex passwords, no denying that. But however, they resort to simple and secure ways to store them, like the ones that you're just seeing on your screen. Sticky notes, spreadsheets, text files, if you're still using these, these are some common password storing methods that people use, and this serves no purpose as it makes even a strong password less secure. These files and sheets are unencrypted, and any physical loss of the machine or sticky notes could not only put your passwords at risk, but also your enterprise's data at stake. You should find it shocking to hear this because a survey conducted by Digital Guardian reveals that at least 38.6 users who are employees of companies store their passwords in sticky notes while another 9.5% store them in text files. This is almost half of the employees that they surveyed that are causing security concerns for the company. So how are passwords being shared? Well, careless sharing of passwords is another common trend across many firms. All enterprises would have critical shared passwords that has to be securely handled and used only on a need basis. However, people still use unsecure ways to share them. You might have personally seen people sharing passwords vocally, uh, over mail or your company's chat, using SMS, phone calls, and maybe even write it down when somebody else is reading it over to them. If this habit persists, it creates a frightening culture across the organization. Trust me, that would right away put your enterprise data at risk. People who no longer need access to privileged accounts will continue having access even after the task gets done. For example, Take the incident that happened with, with Coca-Cola where almost 8,000 Coca-Cola employees at their data get breached a few months back. The culprit was an ex-employee and he had access to personal details even after leaving the company. This is a totally underrated security concern 
it again goes unnoticed. The reason it's really worrying is because 52% of employees surveyed by ICE decisions see no risk in such password sharing methods, while 49% have already shared their network login details. If this reflects your enterprise's scenario as well, you need to put a stop to it, especially if your client's data is at stake. Another stat that could probably add on will be something that you see here right now. The same IS decisions people did another survey which states that at least 36% of the employees are said to have access to systems and data even after leaving the company. Crazy, right? Consequences. I guess you've got a fair idea by now. But let's find out the consequences your enterprise might suffer due to improper password management. Let me tell you, your passwords are going to be everywhere if you do not organize them while storing or sharing. An often underestimated risk is that of an insider attack. Earlier researches from IBM states that about 60 to 70% of the security breach incidents are from insider threats. If you're prone to using the same passwords across different websites, you're more likely to be a victim of multiple attacks on your accounts that use the same password. And a hacker with access to your account would cause personal as well as organizational damage using the obtained details. Finally, it goes without saying, there'd be huge financial loss for your enterprise to bear, apart from the reputation that takes a major hit. Another startling fact, and this is from 2018, more than 1 billion people have had their data breached just in last year, while companies have had to suffer multi-million multi dollar losses. When we found out the common reason behind most data breaches, we were totally appalled. And do you know why? 81% of the data breaches in enterprises are because of weak passwords. That's all of the breaches that something as simple as a strong password could have prevented. Always remember that a strong password is the first line of defense for your account's safety. Hmm. So we've talked about all the issues till now. You might have even been aware of most of what I've talked about without me telling it to you. But have you taken the next step? Have you stopped sharing passwords through unsecure ways? Have you found and implemented the solution to fix these problems? If not, you might need to look for a, for something that would fix all these problems efficiently once and for all. Maybe you might need a combat strategy. You can tackle most of the issues from your end by meeting a few constraints. You can begin by consolidating your passwords in a central repository where you can organize your passwords efficiently. And please stop reusing passwords. Passwords should always be strong and unique to different websites. This practice safeguards other accounts even if the password for one account gets breached. If your organization has critical passwords that are shared on a daily basis, enforce strict access parameters on them. Only let authorized people have access at all times. And if your company wants you to change passwords periodically, Ensure you follow that. Never ignore your company's security team's advice. Always, always, always follow password best practices. And all activities on your shared passwords should be closely monitored internally, externally, wherever you share it, it should be monitored. It might not be easy for an individual to follow all the mentioned combat strategies without any help. I mean, it would be inhuman to remember unique complex passwords every time. I understand. This is where a password manager comes in handy. Password managers, what do they do? What are the basic stuff that password managers should come with? Let me, let me tell you. A password manager needs you to remember just one strong master password for the pass, password manager's account, which will help you access all your other passwords. This way, you need not remember another password again 
while also securing all your passwords. So an ideal password manager should let you securely organize your passwords in one place and also generate strong passwords to update for all your accounts. You should be able to monitor all access details whenever your passwords are shared, edited, modified, deleted, anything. And a password manager should also enable auto logon for websites. Let's say you've stored your Facebook's username and password somewhere. Wouldn't it be cool if your password manager logs you into your Facebook profile in one click, all in a secure manner? A good password manager should let you do that. Two-factor authentication adds security for your password manager account. So just ensure your password manager has this feature if you're opting for one. And, and again, a password manager should track every critical activity in real time. It should keep you informed of all user activities with accuracy and detail. Finally, you need to access your passwords everywhere. Your passwords are important to you. You might need access to them at any and every moment. I mean, after all, they're your passwords, right? So make sure you have an uninterrupted access to all your passwords. Well, you can now be saying, fine, I'm convinced that a password manager is the way to go. Does Zoho have one? Absolutely, we do. Zoho Vault is Zoho's in-house password manager, and it not only has all these features that I just mentioned, but it also offers much more. I'll brief you the key features of Vault, so you gain a clear picture of what you'll be getting with this extension, as well as Vault on the whole. So post this, we'll proceed with steps to get these extensions installed for Mail and Desk. <laughs> Sounds cool. What does Zoho Vault offer me? Good question. For starters, all your sensitive data that you store at Vault is encrypted by AES-256 encryption. So you can add passwords onto Vault without any worry by creating either a custom password or by choosing one from your quick add options that is available with Vault. And if you're using another password manager already, you can export your passwords as a file and then import them onto Vault. Simple. Also, Vault secures not only your web credentials, but also your license details, bank account details, social security number, healthcare info, unique Windows credentials, SSH keys, certificates, lot more. You can even create your own custom type of, of password that you store. You can even store your critical files in Vault, which will be encrypted. So it's pretty much safe storing with Vault. You can next uh, safely share whatever you store in Vault. So if you want to set up your team on Vault and safely share passwords with them, you can do so. The first user of Vault has the privilege to invite users through mail and other integration options that we'll be seeing soon. Once invited, he or she can share the passwords with users by four different ways. Users can be granted different permissions like one click login only which will ensure that users directly log in and just have access to the account and not to the password. They can neither view nor edit the password. And users with view permissions can just view the passwords that are shared with them, but not modify it. Modify permission lets users view and edit the passwords shared with them, whereas the manage permission gives complete access of the password to the users. It even lets them to delete or share it with others. Next is your one-click login or your directly login option. So users can directly log into their web accounts in a single click using our browser extensions. This way, you need not enter any credentials while authenticating to online accounts anymore. Similarly, Zoho Vault also supports single sign-on for various applications. Single sign-on again lets users to log into their applications with a single click without having to enter your username and password anywhere. So SSO can be readily integrated with any service provider that supports SAML 2.0 configuration. And this feature is readily available for about 90 plus cloud applications with Vault, while you can also configure it for other applications manually. This way, you give your users hassle-free access to different applications. Control access or restrict access. 
Uses can be added and removed as and when needed. You can add and remove you bulks of users as well in an instant, or you can also just remove an employee or remove any user from world. This will be useful when an employee leaves the company on bad terms. Uh, let's say the moment uh, you remove your employee from Vault, he or she stops having access to any of the enterprise passwords, thereby safeguarding your organization by only letting the right personnel have access always. Recently, the website for the WordPress multilingual plugin was hacked by an ex-employee who had backdoor access to the system from an old SSH password. You can efficiently prevent these incidents using control access. As an additional feature to revoke the sharing status of users whenever you feel so, giving you the ultimate control always. And you go on to track actions, which will, which will help you to audit every action made on Vault in real time, and also track critical events when you're away by configuring something called alert notification. So this will notify you whenever your users passwords or password groups are deleted, modified, anything through your email alerts. Another cool option with Vault is fine grain controls, which is another option that gives you control to specify what your organization does and doesn't need. We have this feature to share passwords with outsiders in Vault, but if you feel, for example, you don't need users to share passwords with any outsiders, you can restrict users from doing so by exploring the options in fine grained controls. This way you can structure the world to satisfy your organization's safety needs. And finally, we have the KN visibility feature in world, which will give you multiple interactive reports for user passwords and password group access. These reports can be specific to a particular user as well as an overview of the organization. Let's say you want to monitor a particular user's activity and see all the password categories he or she accesses on a regular basis. Vault gives you a beautiful visual of just that. You can also monitor the number of unchanged and weak passwords your users might be having. So the passwords are rated on a scale of one to 100 with 100 being the strongest password. So you can view the report of your of, of the password strength of your users and enforce strong pass, password policies accordingly on users, which will eliminate weak passwords from your organization. If you eliminate weak passwards, stats say that at least 80, 81 percentage of your security increases, right? Huh. So there's much more features to Vault that you should probably explore to experience. But let's first talk about how secure Vault is. You're going to entrust us with your key passwords. You should know how safe they'll be. So how secure is Vault? Zoho Vault follows the host proof hosting concept. This concept basically ensures that all confidential data is encrypted in the browser with AES-256 encryption using the user's passphrase, which only the user knows. The encrypted data is then securely transmitted over SSL and stored in Zoho servers. However, data of user, user accounts which are created in zoho.eu slash vault just stays in our EU data centers. So all encryption and decryption that takes, that takes place, it happens only on the browser. Well, the passphrase that users create is not stored anywhere on the server, meaning even Zoho cannot access your data. Nobody except you, the owner of the passphrase, can decrypt your data stored in Vault. Before we move on to our next slides that talk about Vault's integration with Mail and Desk, I need to tell you that Vault also integrates with G Suite, Office 365, Microsoft Active Directory, and Azure Active Directory, from where you can integrate your users to Vault immediately and also get them started. Besides this, Vault also supports SSO for 90 plus cloud apps as discussed before. It also integrates SSO apps with like Okta and OneLogin. There's also a beta version of Vault's REST API available along with Python packages, which will soon be released for all our users to access. 
And finally, the apps and extensions that you'll find with Vault. Vault's browser extensions and mobile apps definitely makes life easier for users. So I'm a personal user and I can guarantee you with that. The mobile apps are available for Apple, Android, and Windows users, which covers almost most of the users. While we also have browser extensions for popular browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge as well. So this is a sample screenshot of how Vault looks. You can try Vault by signing up from the link above. Like I said, if you want to sign up with zoho.eu, if you want your data to be stored in the EU data centers, feel free to do so. I'll just stop here for like 15, 20 seconds so you can observe all, all the options available and quickly get started with the next portion where we talk about integration of Zoho Vault extension with Zoho Mail and Zoho Desk. Vault is big on its integration process across all Zoho products. We have initiated this process with Mail and Desk. With, with thousands of active users for these applications, uh, we look forward on helping users enhance their security. So let's get started with the installation steps for Mail. This should probably be for about two to three minutes, after which we'll move to the installation for our Desk users. Steps are pretty easy and quick, so we'll swiftly discuss them and get into the Q&A session where you can ask away your questions. And for the mail extension, we'll first see the quick setup and cover the available options that'll help you get started. If you're a new user to Vault, I would suggest you to sign up to Vault, post this webinar, and create your passphrase before you begin with the installation. It hardly takes a minute. Once you're done creating a passphrase and you reach this step, log into your Zoho Mail account and click on the toggle extension option that you find to your bottom right. So this is pretty much how it looks. Once you log into your Zoho Mail account, you will find the toggle extension option, which I've pointed out here in the image. Click on it. You'll find the list of extensions that are available in Mail. And right at the top, you can find Zoho Vault. Click on Zoho Vault. So once you click on Zoho Vault, the next screen that you will see will show you, uh, it'll prompt you to enter your passphrase to get started with the whole world, like this. So once you click on it, you'll be prompted to enter your passphrase for Zoho world, and you can click on open Zoho world, which will then take you to your Zoho world account, or it list all the features available with this extension. So click on open Zoho world, and this, this is what you would see. You'll be seeing three options, which I'll read out to you. They are all secrets, chambers, and add secrets. So if you're new, new uh, to Vault and you want to start by adding some passwords, you need to click on add secret option. So this is a terminology uh, which we use in Zoho Vault. So instead of password, we call it secret because like we earlier discussed, Vault is not only used to store your passwords, but also your healthcare info, your Unix or Windows web account, I mean, Unix or Windows passwords, web account details, bank account details, license, social security number, and a lot of stuff. So that is the reason why we call it a secret. And Chambers is nothing but a group of passwords which are put together. So we'll see in detail about this, but let's just get started by clicking on add secret, which will take us to the page where we can fill in uh, passwords or, or bank details or anything. So once you click on add secret, you'll be taken to this particular page where you'll be asked to fill in your secret name. So enter the name of your choice and then select the type of secret that you want to save. If you want to store a web account detail, click on web account like I've chosen in this example. But if you want to save, let's say your bank account detail, you can go ahead and select that option from this particular, this particular section. So feel free to select the option of your choice. Next is a description which, which would probably describe what your secret is about. You can give a one-liner or, 
or you can describe as per your needs the next is an important option which is classification we have two different classifications in zoho vault which we followed for quite some time and it is for certain reasons why we follow this we at zoho vault believe that whatever passwords or secrets that you store with us if it's something that has to do only with you if it's a personal secret or a personal password it should not be shared with others you should be the only person who has access to all the personal stuff that you store so when you click on personal as a classification you will not be able to share anything that you store it will just stay with you for your purpose so if you want to share any passwords with your colleagues be sure that you click on the enterprise option as your classification before you share so since i've selected web account as the secret type i have been asked to enter my username and password which which i've given so the next step will ask you to fill in the url which will be your login screen url so you need to update the url of your login page of whatever web account you giving so select that and if you want to add any notes to it add them and click on save once you hit on save your secret would be stored and it will display once you click on all secrets so let's see that so once you click on all secrets you will be seeing this test secret which we just created populated over there and if you have a lot of secrets that you need to check let's say um, you've stored like 100 passwords that you need to access from this option you might wonder how can i navigate through all these screens so would i be having would i need to go through a lot of trouble to access this well you can use the filter option which is uh, found over there so the drop box that's next to show allows you to filter all your secrets based on uh, based on a different list of parameters which you can see here so you you, you can see favorites my most used recently used and different kinds of filters that you can choose from or you can even use the search bar which is present right above next comes the important part where we share passwords with people and user groups so the concept is almost same with both users and I mean sharing with users and user groups so i have first selected the option to share with user groups so once you select that option you'll be shown the four different types of access permissions that i earlier discussed with you one click login view modify and manage so you can select the user group that needs access to your secret and you can give the different permissions that different user groups might need for the secret so if you think they only need one click login select that option or if you think they need to view it or modify it or maybe even share it to someone or delete it at a later stage give view modify and manage accordingly so just choose wisely and the option is all yours the same options are available when you want to share it with users you'll be listed with the different users that you might find and you can just bulk select the different users and share it to them with the different permissions available you can also edit your secret which is already stored if you need to make any corrections this is the option that you need to go to now we come to chambers which i earlier said a group of passwords put together so imagine this scenario where your organization has a team called social media team and let's say your organization has different social media accounts in facebook twitter instagram and stuff like that and you are the social media head and you want to share this password with your entire team how can you do it securely so one thing that you can do is create a user group called a social media team and put all your users under that particular user group and all passwords that you need to share with these guys you can add the passwords with vault you can group them together in a chamber called social so all your social media passwords are put into this particular chamber so when you click on social you'll see the different social media details that you could probably access 
and then you can directly share this particular chamber with your user group which is social media team so that's how easily you can securely share your passwords with different users and when it comes to mail productivity is all that matters right so this vault extension is something that helps you to instantly achieve the best productivity while also securing all the passwords it's a double win if you ask me right now you would probably wonder uh like i'm done with it so how do i get started so pretty simple you can go ahead and add new passwords share passwords with users and user groups just explore around share it with people see how you feel and let us know let let us know if we can help you in any any place if you get stuck at any point you can always write to support at zohoworld.com where we can help you at all points so now people who are with the zoho desk ex extension of in if zoho world for zoho desk is pretty much going to make sure that you focus only on solving your customer problems and not worry about the different passwords and where you can find it or if you if you if you've like uh forgotten some password or lost the chit on which you wrote your password you can stop worrying that and just focus on how you can resolve your tickets instantly so let's see the installation steps for desk quickly before we step into the q and a session so you can install this particular zoho world extension on the desk by two methods so you will find this extension in the marketplace which you can either access from your zoho desk admin account where you can log into your desk account as an administrator click on the setup button and navigate to marketplace from where you can select all and search for zoho world for desk so you can click on this particular configure settings button that you see which will then take up take you to the setup page and the marketplace option that you see on the bottom will have all which which you need to click on once you click on all you'll be taken to this page where you can search for zoho world for desk from the search bar that you find there so once you once you search for this you're pretty much ready to get started with the installation or if you want to install the zoho world extension directly from zoho marketplace you can do so by opening zoho marketplace from where you can search for zoho world for desk and again install so log into marketplace.zoho.com/home and search for zoho world for desk once you search for it you will find that particular extension which you can install by clicking on the install option found on your right hand side click on install and you will find this page where you'll need to fill in the details required so you can click on edit profile and modify whatever details that you need to add or remove once you're done click on continue where you can progress or proceed with the installation steps you will be prompted to confirm if if uh, all your details are right post which you can click on install and once you click on install you will be taken to this page where you can specify which profiles from desk need access to this particular extension of vault so by default it will be all profiles if you need to specify the different profiles that get access to vault extension you can specify that here and then later you can uh, you can read the terms of use and agree to it and click on install any installation will will be successfully completed you just need to finally authorize this particular vault extension so click on the authorize that i've mentioned here once you click on authorize you will you will be taken to this workflow page where you'll be accepting f for uh, all all the data that will be accessed from your soho account so you can accept it which will finally end the installation progress you can now go ahead and click on any open ticket that you see on desk and then select the extensions icon that you find here on the screen i've highlighted it on the screen click on this particular icon which is your extensions icon this will then take you to to the next screen where you will be prompted to enter the passphrase that you've created for the whole world 
So once you click on that particular extension, what happens is you, you'll be asked to enter this part, your, your particular passphrase, which you've already um, created while setting up your Zoho Vault profile. So enter the passphrase and then click on Open Zoho Vault. So once you click on Open Zoho Vault, you'll be listed all the different secrets or passwords that you've stored in Vault. So if you want to share any of these with any users, let's say you open a ticket and you see some particular issue for which one of your users might need access to. And if you have access to that password, you can assign them this, pa this pa particular password by sharing it from right from Zoho Desk. So you can click on the share button that you see here. And once you click on share, similar to how it was with mail extension, you'll have two options, which is to share with users as well as user groups. So similarly, you have one click login permission and you view, modify, and manage permissions. Select appropriately, choose the different users or user groups to which you need to give access to. And once you're done, click on share. This way you can instantly share passwords in a secure way again. So this brings, that, brings us to almost the end of this session. But before we conclude, you can see a few important useful resources that might help you. So if male users want to go ahead and see what it's all about in detail, if you want to see some personalized version, you can go and check the document here. Similarly, for desk users, you can access this link. And if you want to see an online demo of Zoho Vault, you can do so. Or if you want any help talk about Vault, you can again access it here. So we are pretty much done right now, and we will open for a Q&A session. So guys, if you have any question, now is the time to ask them all. You can use your, your option that you find in the code of webinar console. Please go ahead and ask your questions. So there is Teresa Wrangham, if I'm, spell, if, if I'm pronouncing your name right, who's asked us, will it import from LastPass? Of course it does, Teresa. We have an option to in, import all your passwords from LastPass and quickly integrate to Zoho Vault. I hope that answers your question. So George has asked us a question where he's already tried out the Vault extension to mail and he says he was unable to open a particular site from mail. So George, could you please let us know the particular website? So, you know, we, we could probably look into it. So Florian has a question. Florian has asked us, since I'm using the password extensions already, the extensions are just a way for me to access Vault when I'm working in another browser, right? Okay. So, uh, Florian, if 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 you're talking about the browser extensions, yes, if you're working on different tabs, you can use the browser extensions accordingly. But again, so if if let's say you get a request on your mail asking, I mean, let's say somebody asks you to share a particular password by sending you a mail, you can instantly do that from right right from your Zoho mail by using our extension. And similarly, if any person comes across any particular tickets or incidents where they need to assign stuff to people, they can immediately share the uh, passwords to those, those people who could probably need access to the machines from Vault extension for desk. Okay, yeah, so like, like I just said, the browser extension, again, is, is something that pretty much optimizes your experience on the browser where you can instantly log into different websites. But the Vault integration of Zoho Mail will let you to instantly share your passwords with different users whenever they, let's say somebody's requesting you for a password over mail, you could do that instantly. Or if somebody is, is looking over a customer issue on desk where a particular machine has some issues, 
if if you are an admin and you want to assign this task to somebody they might need password to that particular machine or something right so you can share that in instantly to the different users by using this integration with desk as well so i hope that answers your question yes scott gardner i so scott has asked us if we can only share the passwords which are marked as enterprise that's right scott you can only share passwords which are marked as enterprise because all personal passwords are just for your use right francisco garcia has asked us share francisco if you could elaborate a little bit on the question that will be helpful okay so scott garner has again asked us there is no share icon for personal entities no scott rico nunes has asked us i've installed the zoho world extension but don't see it on my zoho desk so rico if you're facing any issues you can just write to us with with a detailed description to support at zohoworld.com we'll definitely help you out and help you solve this issue Dan Ashu thanks us for a great webinar thank you Dan you guys help us as well um rico you can write another mail to support at zohoworld.com we'll definitely get back to you on that brett sloan asked us also are there pdf guides for what you presented so that we can use them to train our staff who weren't on this webinar absolutely brett you you, you will be getting all the guides and all the details from our zoho world website uh teresa i hope i've answered your question already which is if you would be able to import from lastpass yes teresa you can readily import your passwords from lastpass onto zoho world and another question from marco asking if if marco can possibly import passwords from one password yes marco you have the option to import your passwords from one password as well additionally how to integrate with office 365 azure and other clouds as you mentioned ashraf you can always write to us at support at zohoworld.com what we can readily schedule uh, a demo session for you where we describe all these functions in detail so that you can quickly get started with world like i said so if you're interested you you can first check any of our help documents on world but if you still need a clarified version of it you can always feel free to write to our support email which is support at zohoworld.com francisco has asked us if sharing between multiple computers is possible francisco if by this you mean to multiple users accessing from different computers i hope yeah you can share your passwords or secrets to multiple users at any time using vault george has asked us if this is supposed to work as the vault extension yes george yes you're absolutely right or if uses dash lane is there an easy way to migrate all my passwords and secrets to zoho absolutely or if you can quickly integrate like i said to most of you know you can quickly import all your passwords from majority of other password managers that are available in the market onto zoho vault uh, marco was asking us if there's a mac app available so marco uh, there is an app i mean there is an extension available for safari browser right now with zoho vault but as of now we haven't got a mac app as, as per your request but do try out a safari extension okay so nitin kumar has asked us let's say a customer stores his data with vault under the dot com dc will that entitle the saved data to gdpr or will it applied if and only if dot eu dc is used so Uh, if if let's say you want your data to to stay only in the eu data centers 
then we advise you to sign up from zoho.eu website so you can go to zoho.eu slash vault and sign up if you want your data to be only in eu region so you can go ahead and use that option Mikhail McKenna has, has asked us, so I'm a Zoho partner. Can someone contact me to show me how I can use Vault as part of my workflow? Absolutely, Mikhail. If, if you want a detailed description of this, you can always write to us at support, zohovault.com. We'll be, we'll be pretty, pretty much happy to help you out. Marco is asking us, is Zoho Vault integration in Zoho Desk available in EU? Absolutely, Marco, it is. George has another question. There are several. There are several. What's a red Zoho box? George, can you write us uh, write to us at support at zohovault.com so I can quickly get one of our guys to check on that? Okay, so Paolo has a question. So Paolo is not sure if if Zoho World has a Windows app or not. So Paolo, right now we have a Windows mobile app which you can use if you are a Windows mobile user. That is what we have right now. And if you use Edge for your day-to-day -day activities, you can very well go ahead and use the extension available for Edge as well. So does that answer your question? Arif Khan is okay. Arif, can you can just you can just share with us your number over which you, we can like help you uh, get get integrated into Vault from Dashlane. Dinesh has a question where he is asking how one can search for a particular secret with just a username. So Dinesh, you can add this particular uh, username or details that you think you might be able to search your secret with. Under the tags option that you find in your ad secret, this will definitely help you to quickly search and get whatever secret that you might be needing, right? So Ashraf wants to know if the system would generate the password automatically or if we can create it manually. So Ashraf, we we uh, at, we have this password generator option with Zoho Vault, which will generate a strong password as per your needs. So yeah, you can get your passwords generated. And you can also set password policies, which would define uh, what kind of password you need and what kind of password the users of your organization might need. Okay, Paolo, to answer your question, uh, right now, uh, what would like I earlier uh, I earlier mentioned to you, we support uh, for the extensions available in Safari and also support the um, also support Vault on our website. But like you mentioned, this is in our roadmap. We'll soon be exploring these options and be setting it in the near future. Pat wants uh, all the hyperlinks for materials about Vault in, in, in the chat. Sure, sure uh, Pat, I'll just quickly get you the hyperlinks for you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much. So it was really wonderful having you all throughout this session. So at any point, like I've always mentioned, if you have any issues, you know where to reach out. You can either write to support at zohowall.com or if you have any details or if you want any details regarding this particular presentation, you can always write to me at meenaksr at zohocorp.com.